so tell me, there's a new type of magic in the Explorer's Guide to Wild Mount. Mm -hmm. It's not a school, but it's a new type of magic mm -hmm. that is very unique. Dunamancy. Yeah, D a Dunamancy is um, it's a new family, I guess you could say, of magic. It's not a new school, but it is, it is a collection of spells and a type of uh, an offshoot of the standard arcane uh, practice that was developed by the Korean dynasty through their worship of, of the Luxon, this, this light entity and the beacons that they began to uncover, which were these, these artifacts of potentiality and kind of, for, for, for in layman's term scenario, uh, esoteric space-time magic, if you will. Um, and so Dunamancy is a, um, a collection of, of, of magic and a, a, a practice of magic that works around probability and potentiality. The idea that every person that goes through their life, every decision they make, every major choice, every major action that, a, that changes the world around them, that has ripples, a butterfly effect on every other creature around them, the world as they progress through it, um, and choosing their destiny and, and the next timeline that comes to fruition, the vibrating potential of the universe towards that choice itself is an energy. You know, that, that anticipation you feel in a horror movie before you're, you're getting to a major moment that you know that's coming, that type of raising vibration, that is the dunamis that builds to that choice. And so dunamancy is the ability to take that growing, vibrating power of potentiality and crafting it into magic and using it to manipulate the world on its very base core elements. Um, and so you have spells that affect gravity, that affect time and its, its, its progression and passing. The probability of the choices you make to to kind of help nudge and adjust the paths you take in the world to your favor uh, and to the favor of others. Um, to rip through alternate timelines and dimensions and send physically or mentally creatures through that space. Um, it's, it's a little esoteric. It falls definitely in my, my long-standing love of you know, physics, astrophysics, metaphysics, quantum physics, all that kind of realm there, and bringing it a little more into the realm of D&D &D fantasy arcane practice. That is going to be very fun. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, that is a type of magic that doesn't... Uh, certainly, there are some spells that are like that in D&D, &D, mm -hmm. but I've always wanted a ton of spells like that in D&D. Yeah. Thematically, uh, haste, slow, time stop, you know, a reverse gravity, these are all spells that fall in, in a realm that is, you know, in a similar pocket to what Dunamancy is, but they've pulled from it without knowing what was beyond it. You know, you've dabbled in elements of time magic, but didn't realize that beyond that curtain, there was a whole subsect of magic that focused on these very basic elements of the universe. When you consider, you know, all of creation, you know, water, water is one of the basic elements, but water doesn't exist all over the universe, necessarily, you know. Um, at the core, the very creation of, of the universe as, as we know it and a, 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 a physical level in the real world, you know, gravity, time, uh, these are all things that are absolutely necessary and are ever present in all facets of creation. And so I wanted to kind of expand upon that very, very primal uh, basis of the universe for a lot of these spells and what they manipulate. To, to take it away from the more elemental aspects that the classically D&D magic revolves around. And so that's kind of where the inspiration for Dunamancy came from and where that focus and the theming of the Korean dynasty's uh, you know, religious beliefs are based on. Can you tell me about some of the spells that are in there, specifically? I can tell you about some of the spells in there. I know you can't tell me about all of them. I can't tell you about all of them. <laughs> um, those who are familiar with the, the show may have seen one of our characters, Caleb, has acquired a handful of Dunamancy spells through the adventure. Uh, one of which you'll see in here is Fortune's Favor. Fortune's Favor is a spell that you can cast that creates a, uh, a what's called a fragment of possibility, a moat of condensed dunamis that a person essentially absorbs and keeps around them, and it allows them to adjust a moment of probability in their favor. It essentially gives them the equivalent of a luck point, if you're familiar with the luck feat but it's a spell-granted uh, uh, luck point that lasts for an hour, if you will. And higher levels can disseminate amongst multiple targets. And so it gives you the ability to roll an additional d20 uh, for any sort of d20 roll for an attack, for an ability check, for a saving throw, and then choose the better of what's available. Um, there's a spell like Gravity Fisher, which is, you know, we're familiar with the line spells of Lightning Bolt and stuff like that. Imagine a line spell 
that fired out and before dealing damage, sucked everything within 10 feet of it towards the center if they failed their saving throw, and then crushing them with overwhelming gravitational force. So a lot of these gravity-based spells are not just damage-dealing spells, they also have a, a utility of adjusting and manipulating the battlefield. Very of, controlled. Of slowing things down, holding them in place, uh, preventing them from leaving a location, from shifting them to a place you want them to be. So you become a little more of like the chess player, controller of the battlefield with a lot of these uh, spells. There's also, uh, and we'll get into the higher level stuff, there's uh, Reality Break, which is a spell where you get to actually take a creature uh, and every round they roll to see what type of strange dimensional alteration you thrust them through. Uh, those are familiar with the Confusion spell. It's a similar type at the beginning of every creature's round. You roll a dice to see what happens to them, but it can be anywhere from them being thrown into a, a cosmic horror type alternate Far Realm reality and then spat back out to the end of the round and the terrible things that happened in the meantime. They could all of a sudden have echoes of themselves from other dying realities tearing into this dimension and trying to kill themselves to take their place, you know? So it's, uh, it, it, it's very weird and, and dimension, you know, crossover strangeness, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. And it's got a cool piece of art in the book, uh, specifically for that spell, <laughs> it's which very is pretty cool. great. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all sorts of fun, fun spells in that realm that I'm excited for people to test out and try. Oh, that's such a good narrative hook too. That's what I like about this this uh, this type of magic. Is narratively it, it opens up a an entire can of worms. I always like to play with. Mm -hmm. I love playing with time. I mean, who doesn't want to cast a spell that creates essentially a black hole, dark star in the middle of the battlefield that starts sucking everything into oblivion? No one I want to know. Yeah, you thought a sphere of annihilation <laughs> was bad. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds so fun. I am so excited for this magic. Um, and now we have to wait till March. Uh, I know. It'll go by faster than you think. <laughs> Trust me. Time goes quicker these days. Matt, thank you so much for your time. I'm so incredibly excited for the book, and I'm very excited for you. I think uh, it's fantastic to know that you are now like one of the stewards of D&D &D and that your universe is now part of it. That's surreal. I'm, I'm very thankful for everyone at Wizards for giving me the opportunity. I'm thankful for the incredible uh, collaboration from all the writers that contributed to this book, and uh, I really hope... I hope all you guys enjoy it. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I hope you are too. Pre-order now on dndbeyond.com and receive exclusive bonus content with everything that you need to start your own adventure.